Okay, my name's Ian Cable. I'm the education lead for the Collective for Climate Action. I'm just going to show you quickly about the Slack app on phones. It's the same on Android as it is on um, iOS. So we just click on it here, and normally it takes you to your home page here. And that's where you've got your threads, so messages that people are replying to of yours, or ones that you're replying to other people. And it's got all the channels here. You can't collapse them um, like you can on the desktop, but um, you've got your starred list at the top, then your normal channels here um, that you're also signed into and your direct messages here. You can also access direct messages here and you can access any mentions where someone has mentioned you in a message here. Now, one of the things that people who cannot access the desktop site really need to know is about notifications. Um, those are accessible through, let's go back and do that again. If you go to the um, go to your workspace, click on home this is where you are to start with what you want to do is go to you and here go to notifications and this gives you all access to the same facilities that you have on the desktop now obviously notifications are really really important on slack so if you don't have access to the desktop this is the first place you want to go so I've got all new messages on but what most people have or what I'd recommend you have is direct messages mentions and keywords once you select that, then you go down here and you go to My Keywords. And in here, add every single word of any subject that you think you would be interested to hear about. Separate it with a comma, and then you will get notifications about information that's relevant to you. And you won't get bombarded by messages where you're not mentioned, um, where everyone isn't being notified, um, and where you're not in a thread. So that will cut out a huge amount of information that's going, going on in the workspace that you don't want to know about. So it means that you can have your notifications on, on your phone, as much as you like, um, and you can also have them on your desktop if you do have that function, um, as much as you like as well. So um, I'm going to save that. I don't have many in here because I just get alerted by every message that comes in on the workspace because I'm trying to keep, it, um, keep an eye on what's going on. So I'm just going to get out of that. Um, and you can schedule your notification. I've got it on for weekdays. Uh, I won't receive notifications on the weekends. So um, I still post things on the weekends sometimes just when I'm thinking about it. Um, but uh, I'd imagine most people are going to want that on. I sometimes change it so I can hear what's going on um, if something interesting is happening. Um, and the rest of it is pretty, it's pretty rudimentary stuff to do with normal phones. Um, there's, you know, vibrate and um, different versions of um, notifications. So you've got the light on there, which is will be something that pops up on your phone. Um, like mine's got a little green light that flashes when I've got a message. Um, but the main thing to remember is notifications, schedule, and your keywords, and making sure that you only get notified on your mobile phone. Select direct messages, mentions, and keywords. Okay.